So right now I am in the hospital. 33 weeks. I'm here and they're keeping me on fluids to see if everything is good to make sure I'm not in labor and stuff. So we'll see. I'm having contractions. Little contractions that I can't feel. Baby is on the monitor. And they're monitoring him. So I'm guessing these are the contractions. I'm not sure. And then monitor. Welcome back to my channel. If you all are new here, welcome. Hit the subscribe button while you're at it because you're not going to want to miss out on any of my upcoming videos and just to join the Gigi gang, okay? Because if you ain't with Gigi gang, then what are you doing? Okay, so I hate the lighting in my room, y'all. That's why I always make videos in my room, but we're going to make it work. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, today I am 33 weeks. And six days so basically I got I'll be 34 tomorrow so I'm about to update you all on I don't even know what last update I left off on but basically the last update I left off on to now 33 weeks so basically I have been very very tired lately I've been I guess because the baby is growing more at a faster rate and like just growing so fast last couple of weeks so I've got swollen my hands got swollen my feet got swollen I said that in my last um what is it I said that in my last update that my feet and stuff has got swollen my face has got fatter like my whole body has got fat y'all and um I haven't been as hungry so which is crazy I usually eat a lot, but I don't eat that much anymore because I just simply don't be as hungry as I usually be. And um, recently just went to uh, the ER because of have, because I had pain in my lower right side. I'll insert some tips. I went to the um, ER. She told me that I was having like minor contractions that I couldn't feel, but if they were happening... Um, it could have been from just dehydration, and I'm also point five centimeters dilated. So yeah, that was surprising, and I just went in to check if everything was okay because I was having like severe tightening slash cramping down here on my right lower side, and basically she just said it's round ligament pain because the baby likes to stretch, and he's stretching all on your muscles and all of that. So yeah, that's what it was. Everything was fine though. They monitored me for a little while to make sure to make sure that I wasn't in labor. So I wasn't. They sent me home about my way, about my day. Which I'm glad I am not in labor because it's just not time for him to come yet. You know, he has at least up to 38 weeks to still be baking up in that oven, okay? Because he does not need to come right now. There's still stuff that we need to get done. And all of that. So yeah, that happened. Um, my fingers. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I haven't been drinking enough water like I should. But when I wake up and I like say if I have, like say if I'm like closing my hand, these two fingers, these two fingers on each hand, it like it's so hard to like squeeze them and squeeze them together and like fold them like it's very very hard and I don't know if it's because of um I don't know if anybody else has this like this symptom or problem but I do I don't know if it's from not drinking enough liquid or it's just from pregnancy whatever but it does happen it does happen so yeah and also um my feet like, I can't be on my feet for a long, long time. Like, I could be on my feet for, like, 10 minutes. And boom, my feet start hurting. 
also been waddling like a penguin. For real, for real. <laughs> it hurts down now. I get crushed lightning. When I walk, I literally just wobble like a little penguin. When I get out of bed, my legs start to hurt. Also, at nighttime, I put a pillow in between my legs. And then I sleep with like two pillows under my neck. And once I wake up, it literally is like my sides be hurting. And I also get bad, bad trolley horses at night to where I wake up and like be about to cry, like for real. Those gonna be no joke, them um, trolley horses. Those be really, really serious. But yeah, that's really it, you guys. I'm going to put up his best net because I'm so, so excited for him to be coming. And I just wanna have everything together already. I won't have to stress about it and I can load this already up. I'm good to go. So yeah, I'm about to get that. Set that up. Right here. Yeah, I'm sorry if the light is it's stuck up in here. Like, I don't know, maybe I gotta change these light bulbs up here in the in the ceiling. But this is very easy to put together because it's literally only you putting on the legs on here. This is just pops right out. So this is like little thing this is from chico 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 that's from chico right mom yeah probably want to okay so probably don't want to put this leg on here oh. i think it goes on this way for many so i don't want to Okay, nothing. I think okay. each of these go to a certain one. I'm really sure on me. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Come so on, bro. Press the button right here. And then you slide over until it clicks. Ah, Make sure it's locked and steady. Nice, yeah. Then some more. This right here is the little mattress that goes in there. Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm actually gonna, this actually can come off this sheet on top of the pattern. It's like a sheet right here that unzips. That's So yeah, this is how it looks. It was super duper duper easy to put together. So yeah, that's a plus. It's really spacious also. And again, it's from Chico. Chico. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That was fast. We have six more weeks to go before baby boy gets here. So I'm so, so excited. And yeah, so yeah, 
this is the end of this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe boo if you haven't already and you made it this far do not forget to subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up okay also comment some video ideas that y'all want me to do or any q and a's that y'all want me to do and go follow my social media down below in the description yeah i am out and i'll see y'all in my next video